Doing things the Indian way doesn't mean being single-minded, and it can also involve an approach that encourages sharing and openness to other cultures and ideas. This is one of the characteristics of the Tribhangi Dance Theatre, and it's one of the secrets of the company's ongoing success. I had the privilege of attending a special event recently with a number of dance companies joining Tribhangi to celebrate a milestone in dance. The One Spirit Festival was presented by the Tribhangi Dance Theatre in partnership with the Market Theatre in downtown Josie. There are a few things that get better with age and the Tribhangi Dance Theatre is definitely one of them. They have been delighting audiences for three decades. Today Mela is joining JS Bree Movement and the Tribhangi Dance Theatre in celebrating their achievements and timelessness. The dance company and the theatre share a history of bringing people together through a shared love of the performing arts. Ismail, what is the purpose of the One Spirit Festival? The One Spirit Festival is a unique collaboration of multiple dance groups from the city of Johannesburg to come together to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Tribungi Dance Festival at the Market Theatre. How did the Market Theatre get involved? The Market Theatre Foundation is a 42-year-old institution. It's an institution that's strongly rooted to South African social justice. We celebrate the fact that we can work with cultural organisations that share the same values as us. Tribunga Theatre is one that is at the forefront of bringing different cultural groups together, particularly from the Indian and the African continents, to create a new South African voice. And for us, that is exciting. With the dancers focused on their final rehearsals, Zaki could spend a few moments discussing the company and the festival with the founder, Jay Spree Mupin. Jay Esprit is the mind and body behind the Chubangi Dance Theatre and it is always such a privilege to spend time with her. Jay, it is always so wonderful seeing you. It's always good to be here. 30 years later, how does it feel to have reached this milestone? It is surreal. I think the biggest <laughs> highlight and milestone is that we're still here 30 years later. I never knew that this would happen. What does your repertoire include? We take a lot of the traditional forms and resuscitate it with a contemporary energy. So that is relevant all the time. The dance genres that we use are also very important because we draw on a lot of different styles and we try to blend them and synthesize it, juxtapose it in a way that is beautiful for people to watch. And it's not just the performances, it's the music that is also very important. What would you say has been Tribangi's biggest strength over the past three decades? It's to be able to make sure you're a step ahead of everyone else in terms of what you do. Collaborations have been one of our biggest strengths because when you combine different like-minded creatives together and put them in a room, you'll get such beauty that comes out of it. By now, the foyer had filled with enthusiastic dance lovers. The stage is quite literally set for what I am certain is going to be a magical evening. Tribangi has earned a reputation for the quality and creativity of its performances. So while the members of the audience knew what to expect in terms of the standard, they were also looking forward to fresh ideas and interpretations that the performers would bring to the stage. Later, Zaki spoke to dancer Nshlanshla Zwane about the significance of the festival. In Atlanta, what makes the One Spirit Festival so special? We are different people from different communities and coming together to change people's lives and people's perception about dance. We do not only represent the Tribangi Dance Theatre, we also represent the country, the province where we come from, different communities where you come from. So how we handle ourselves in, in community, it is very, very important. The festival also offered an opportunity for a number of other local dance schools and companies to present their talent, creativity and commitment to dance on stage. With the cost of mounting and production soaring, this has moved beyond the reach of many independent companies, as Bailey Snayman explained. Bailey, how important are festivals like One Spirit in the dance industry? They're absolutely vital. Booking theatre spaces is incredibly expensive in South Africa and especially finding spaces that can accommodate dance works. So these types of festivals like One Spirit, they really provide us with that space where we don't really have to worry about paying venue fees and we can actually just celebrate our work with fellow dance artists. What is the purpose of the One Spirit Festival? I think as the name suggests, it's bringing a lot of artists, in this case dancers, together uh, to perform with the passion and love that we all share and bringing it to one platform. And we're just so grateful for Tribangi for creating this platform to bring us all together in one spirit. 
the festival showcased a wide variety of styles, including a breathtaking contemporary piece featuring Musa Motha, who has lost a leg to cancer. My amputation uh, was caused by I had cancer called osteosarcoma. So I was diagnosed while I was still ill. I took a decision that I need to do the amputation because it was really stopping me and was limiting me. And yeah, here I am today, um, fair for me. A cross-cultural Tribangi classic titled Circles and Squares brought the performance to a close and the audience rose to their feet in a show of appreciation for what the dancers, the events and the company has achieved. I'd like to congratulate Tribangi Dance Company for the tremendous work they're doing and Jay Spree Mupin for really unraveling um, different aspects of how Indian dance can be used and, and conveyed to an audience in such an interesting manner.